Hey, and welcome. I'm hoping that you are really noticing this expansion in your body and more of a concentration and focus in your mind. I hope that you can continue with your practice from the end of this challenge and so on. So today's practice is going to be focused on the back body. So in Anusara Yoga, we look at the back body as the area where grace kind of enters us. Grace meaning that sense of grace in whatever it is that you are pushing yourself to achieve. So let's come all the way down, seated, crossing your legs and taking out any extra flesh from your sit bones. For now, simply close your eyes, placing your palms over top of your knees or maybe walk them a little bit further forward so that your wrists are resting on your knees. Noticing your inhales and your exhales without really putting too much control on them. Trying not to drive your breath, simply let it be. Paying attention to the connection that you have with your body and the earth beneath you, while also noticing your upper body, how it's reaching up towards the sky Noticing the earth and the sky together as one. As you give yourself this permission of just softening into this space, that's really what grace gives us, is a softening. softening in this space, a softening in our day-to-day -day activities, in our priorities, even a softening in our inner critic who tends to always want to push forward and keep pushing, pushing, and pushing. Simply let yourself be a witness. Relaxing your legs, softening into that space. From here on your next inhale, slowly begin to draw your palms together in front of your heart as you bow your head down towards your heart with your exhale. As I mentioned at the beginning of practice, Today we're focusing on our back body, so really noticing the expansion with every breath and the settling of every exhale. On your next inhale, slowly begin to lift your chin up as you release your palms to your sides and blink your eyes open. Extending your legs out in front of you, is going to be holding this pose for the next few minutes. As you inhale, begin to reach your chest forward, taking out any extra flesh from your sit bones. If at this point you notice that your lower back is beginning to curve a little bit, then I invite you to grab a block, sit up on a block, just to allow for your hips to be higher than your legs. Inhale as you reach your chest forward, and with your next exhale, slowly begin to bow forward. Just let yourself be held here. Placing your palms alongside your legs, reaching that chest forward. Option to keep your feet as they are, so not flexed, not engaged. Or if you'd really like to notice a little bit more of something, along the backs of your legs and begin to flex into your toes and reach your chest a little bit further forward. 
So now you're creating it, you're creating this pose and making it more of a yang pose, not so much yin. As you're engaging into those muscles, belly draws in and looking forward. Reach a little bit more if you'd like. So maybe two more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly walking all the way up. From here, taking your left leg out wide, so I'm going to turn to face you. Turning your left leg out wide and right foot comes in. Inhale, reaching forward and turning over towards the left. And with your next exhale, just slowly begin to bow forward. Relaxing that right leg down and reach forward. With your next inhale, slowly coming back to center. And we'll get that on the right. So extending your right leg and bending into your left. Deep, long inhale here. As you exhale, begin to turn over towards your right foot and begin to fold forward. One more breath as you reach, readjust and reach. Inhale, slowly coming back to center. Good, extending both of your legs out and begin to cross that right foot over top of your left leg. Or you can keep it so that it's pressed along the inside on the mat so that's along the inside of your right leg. Inhale, reach forward, and with your exhale, begin to twist. Flexing into your left toes, reaching that chest forward, and twist. Just notice how it feels in your right shoulder and the right part of your upper back. Lengthening out your spine. Inhale, slowly coming back to center, and we'll get that on the other side. Inhale, reach, and with your exhale, twist. Flexing into your right toes this time. Inhale, slowly coming back to center. Uncross your legs and come all the way up to standing towards the top of your mat. As you take a deep, long inhale, begin to adjust your feet so that they are inner hip width distance apart, noticing the outside edges of your feet, the four corners of your feet. Good, spreading your toes here. Inhale, slowly begin to reach your arms all the way up above, pressing your palms together, and as you exhale, bringing your hands together in front of your heart, taking a bend into both of your knees, drawing your weight over towards your heels. So if you'd like, you can lift your toes. 
and gently press them back down. Belly draws in, relaxing those shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, come a little further down. Tailbone points down. Inhale. Exhale, come a little closer. And release, fold. Lifting those kneecaps, inhale as you look forward. With your next exhale, release back down, stepping into a tabletop position. So working on your back body, we can't do it really without a cat-cow. So relaxing those shoulders down, inhale, reaching your chest forward, wanting to really get that movement in your spine. As you exhale, pressing your palms down, curving your upper back. Inhale, coming back to center into cow. Exhale. We're getting two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. Walking your palms further forward, we're going to come into that puppy pose. So however you feel best, either drawing your block underneath your chest or underneath your forehead, however that feels for you. As you take a deep, long inhale here with your exhale, drawing your chest down, forehead comes all the way down. Good, and hold. Taking your tailbone and your sit bones up towards the sky, pressing your palms down so that your elbows are lifted. You are engaging with those arms. Sinking just a tiny bit deeper. On your next exhale, bending into those elbows, rippling all the way forward, moving into Sphinx. Readjusting, releasing your feet, pressing the tops of your feet down so that your kneecaps lift, look forward and reach your chest. Here we are in Sphinx. So try not to collapse into those shoulders. You're still wanting to reach that chest up. With your next exhale, release all the way down. Palms come underneath your shoulders. Continuing to press the tops of your feet down. Inhale, lift up, cobra. As you exhale, release back down. Tuck your toes in, lift and down, dog. We're picking it up a little bit more here. Gently wiggle yourself from side to side, being your first downward facing dog for today. As you inhale, ripple your way all the way forward into a plank position, option to come down onto your knees. As you exhale, bending into your knees, moving back, down dog. Pressing your feet down, pressing your palms down, finding that connection with your feet and your palms. Deep long inhale, ripple forward. Reaching your neck. Exhale, lean back down, dog. Two more, inhale, ripple. Exhale, down, dog. Last one, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, Begin to step your right foot forward and left foot spins and plants over toward a 90 degree angle. When you're ready, circle up, warrior two. Looking forward, wrapping that right hip right underneath, just really feeling that connection there, holding here. 
pressing that left pinky toe down. With your next inhale, straightening out your right leg, reaching forward, taking that left hip just slightly back. Exhale, coming into a triangle, relaxing that left shoulder down. Belly draws in and look forward and up. Option to not press too much on your shin here. Just allow for a little bit of support or coming onto a block. Drawing that right kneecap. And from here, as you exhale, palms come down, step forward, fold forward. Inhale, slowly reach forward, look forward. As you exhale, release. Inhale, taking a gentle bend into both of their knees and reach all the way up above, releasing your palms to your sides and coming into Tadasana. With your next inhale, slowly reaching your arms all the way up above. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale, release. Deep, long inhale right where you are. With your next exhale, begin to bend deeply into both of your knees, just finding that support with your fingertips. Good, tailbone points down, belly draws in. Inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. I tricked you on that one. From here, <laughs> begin to draw your knees so that they are behind your toes. Pressing your feet down, belly draws in, look forward. You can do this, I know you can. Inhale, as you exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your left foot forward, spin and plant your back foot to a 90. And when you're ready, inhale as you circle all the way up into a warrior two. Look forward, you're wrapping that left hip right underneath. Belly continues to draw in. Relaxing those shoulders. Inhale, straightening out your left leg, taking your right hip a little bit further back, reaching forward. Exhale, triangle, reaching that right arm up. Finding that stability with your left arm. Drawing your left kneecap up. One more breath. As you exhale, release back down. Both of your palms come down. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale as you ripple forward into plank. Reaching your head forward as you exhale, downward facing dog. We only have one more. We're only doing two of these. Inhale, ripple forward, plank. Relaxing those shoulders, look forward. Reaching your neck forward, coming right onto your toes. Good, exhale, release all the way down onto your belly. Good job on that one. Untuck your toes. Pressing the tops of your feet down. Inhale, lift up Cobra. Exhale, release. Placing your elbows underneath your shoulders, moving into Sphinx. Relaxing those shoulders. Pressing the tops of your feet down, lifting your kneecaps and look forward. Noticing how your back body feels. Normalizing your breath. Keeping your hands and your arms as they are. Begin to tuck your toes in. From here, using the strength of your arms, pressing down onto your forearms, 
slowly begin to lift your hips off of your mat. And walking up into a dolphin. Relaxing your head down, shoulder blades in towards each other. You can either stay like this or take a gentle bend into both of your knees, pressing your chest over towards your thighs. Just noticing your back body, relaxing those shoulders. Belly continues to dry in, pressing your palms down and away. For one more breath. As you exhale, bending into both of your knees, either taking your knees as wide as your mat or keeping them together. Untuck your toes and sink back into a child's pose. Whatever option of child's pose you choose, letting it be a bit of a resting space. Really breathing into that space in between your shoulder blades. That space behind your heart. Expanding your rib cage to the side. Exhaling fully. Your next inhale, placing your palms underneath your shoulders, and as you exhale, allow yourself to come all the way up. Coming onto your left hip and extending your legs forward. Flexing into your toes, palms alongside your hips. Inhale as you press down and slowly begin to reach your chest forward and up and relaxing those shoulders down your back. Keeping your toes flex, really working with your legs. So we're not moving into a passive pose. We're really wanting to engage the legs, engage the back body reaching your chest forward, creating a bit of a back bend here, pressing your palms down, and as you exhale, slowly release. Bending into both of your knees, and slowly placing your elbows so that they come right below your shoulders. If you have a block, feel free to place your block right behind your back, just to allow for your chest to reach a little bit further forward. Relaxing your legs out in front of you. As you press your palms down, reaching that chest forward, and either stay like this, so that you're looking kind of forward and up, or if your neck allows you to, slowly with your next exhale, begin to take your neck all the way back. My neck does not allow me to, therefore I'm going to stay like this. Pressing my palms down and reaching my chest forward. If you'd like to move your head from side to side, go ahead and do that. Just really letting your body know that you're not really holding on to any extra tension. For one more breath, inhale deeply. As you exhale, slowly release yourself all the way down. As you bend into both of your knees, drawing your knees in towards your chest. Inhale deeply right where you are. And with your exhale, extending all the way down. 
as you move into your preferred version of Shavasana. Relaxing your legs, relaxing your lower back, your back in general. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Once again, inhale. Exhale, release. We'll do that once again, paying more attention towards your back body, noticing the areas of your back that are pressing down onto your mat. Inhale. Exhale fully. Understanding that you are supported, supported by the earth, supported by the universe and every ounce of nature. Many times we feel that we're walking alone, but at the end of the day, if you really bring attention to all the things that connect us all, for the most part, we're never really alone. As you give yourself grace in this moment and letting grace enter from your back body, letting yourself release and relax, with every breath, with every exhale, letting go of any tension that you may be holding on to still. Letting go of the pressures that you yourself place upon you, as well as the pressure that others may unnecessarily place upon you. As you inhale, very slowly, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, reaching your arms towards the back of the room and pointing your toes forward. As you take a deep, long inhale here, exhale fully. With your next inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart, keeping your eyes closed. thinking of at least one thing that you are most grateful for today. And as you have that image in front of you, smile towards it with a light heart. Continuing with a light heart. Very gently bowing your head towards your heart. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.